Cool. All right. So yeah, I made it to our other stop, which is Stonehenge. Quite a few people here. It's not too bad. Uh, what? Oh, there's uh, there's stuff. I'll show you a little bit of a taste of it. You can see it way over there. We'll get there a bit closer after we explore some of the text. Display text. I think I'll just take pictures of the text here and then we'll come back. The video once we are closer to Stonehenge. Look at the lovely, lovely farmland which we're going to get a couple of shots of for who, who requested farmland shots or whatever. Is that Jim? Is that Jim? I don't know. Like on Facebook, he's like, get some shots of the... Shots we've got from the Freemasons Hall out there. Oh yeah, of course. And those are uh, Bronze Age burial mounds. Oh, hey, that's fair enough. Check these out, everybody. These are burial mounds, or to be more precise, barrows is what they're called. Which like fog on the barrow downs where Frodo, Sam, and them get uh, in a little bit of trouble and have to call on Tom Bombadil to save the day. Are there any more downs visible here? No, just those? Alright. We'll be back in a little bit. Later! So here we are at uh, we're a little closer to stone here. We're not quite where not as close as we can be yet. Ah. Daddy is doing the picture man. He's the picture man. That's what he does. It's his job on this trip for Kim and Ashley. <laughs> Having a great time. Having a great time. There's a lovely stone there. With birds. There's a lot of crows. An ill omen in general. It's a very large pavilion -y area for us to walk about, giving space for pictures. In general, we'll sit down on the lovely grass. Here we are. Oh, bollocks. We have our lovely audio guide. And so we continue. We get to try some mead in the visitor center, which we haven't done just yet. I did find out today, looking away from Stonehenge for a moment, if you look over here, You'll notice that there are bales of hay all over the place here in the English farmland. And apparently, it is uh, traded, bartered by the UK to other countries in the European Union for other vegetables. Oh no. Uh, which I think is neat. I didn't realize that at all. To a little bit of a different angle. I've been, I've been kind of walking around trying to get to the closer, closer zone. This is kind of the backdrop of Stonehenge. There's an open area where you have access to more of an open vision. 
pay a lot of people. A lot of people about doing walkabout things. Notice occasionally that there are these plaques on the field, like number five here. That is the audio track thing. So we'll zoom in way over there. You'll see. Uh, there we go. There they are. There's Dad and Ashley and Kim having a good time listening to audio tracks. I like the audio tracks. I, th I think that they're they're very uh, educational and interesting. The trouble is, you, dear viewer, cannot hear it. Uh, it does not project project ugh, loud enough to warrant playing it aloud. Father, of course. <laughs> That's actually a pretty smart idea. A fun idea. I'm gonna circle around. Did you get it? Okay. No, it's fine. can get the closest to the hinge. What's the deal with stone? Why did they build the stone so completely without a view that you You have to die. Put my jalapenos, calamari, and prosciutto on the queue. Here we go. Proximity has increased dramatically to stone. See, I had thought originally that they had cut off access to get right up to it because people were, you know, stealing pieces of it. And it looks like there's actually a little bit of evidence to that effect, but... Um, oh, it's not... See, right here, for example, looks like people have chipped away a bit. It may have just been the... Uh, Stone Chapers when they set it up. This is the closest we're really going to get to Stonehenge. Another shot here. Cool. Very cool. Oh, to the right. I actually see. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's very interesting. I like it very much. Well worth a visit, at, at the very least. You actually get within about 20... 20 feet or so from the nearest suits of that, at least. Now they say that we cannot go any closer because stonework that's kind of 
going into effect that, that, that is underneath the ground is fragile. Considering how old this place is, that makes sense to me. Lovely stone there. We've had a good time here at Stonehenge. I don't think I'll showcase the... I'll probably showcase the museum once we get over there. But this is about as good as we can get for this, uh, this shot. Until next time. Later!